Okay, everyone, so apologies. I said I was gonna pause the recording because my wife got home from work and I stopped the recording like an idiot. So now what's gonna happen is there's gonna be one really like half as long as usual part and one like extra long part for today's stream. Sorry about that, I goofed. My fault, for sure, but uh, it's life. I'm an imperfect human who makes big mistakes. I'm a fool. Okay. <laughs> All right, let us... Oh, this happened again? Now, wait a minute. My controller turned off again. Which is fine, but it's weird that it's doing it this way. Let me see. Okay. All right. Get ready. Let's see what this boss is. Good oh boy. What will it be? Why do you sad, polluted crabs keep coming to this place? Look at this guy. I thought I made it clear. There's nothing for you here. Huh. Has your sense of self-preservation rotted away, even? Or perhaps you truly wish for death. That is a colorful lobster. Well, I'll dude. gladly oblige you, my friend. Square up, devil! <laughs> fast. You deserve your fate, monster! I shall see you to the drain! Oh. I toss your life away. For what purpose? I didn't get my revive. Damn, he's tough, huh? But I could do a lot of damage to him. But he's tough. What sucks is... Oh, no. This is fine, actually. I was gonna say I can't get my, uh... I can't get my hammer. Oh, yes, I can. Never mind. I totally can get my hammer. And now I can get my auto-revive, too. So no problems there. No complaints. Square up, devil! Yes! I'll break you apart! What do I do? How do I stop this? Oh, you don't use time it out? Okay. Throw for long at last, you knave! I shall see you to the drain! Oh, I don't know what, it's a special attack, I don't know what it is. It's a weird fight, because he has one move that I don't know how to beat, and it hit me a zillion times, because he does it a hundred times in a row. That's pretty dumb. I don't know what that move is, and I also don't know if you can, like, get out of it. Why is my shell gone? They they took my shell away. Wow. I guess we're doing spin attack then. They took my shell away. It's gone. Why? Square up, devil! <laughs> You deserve your fate, monster! I shall see you to the drain! Now I can't see! I'm gonna die. Yeah, what, what am I supposed to do? I can't see anything. I don't know what to do there. Did I get away? I can't even tell. I can't see. Where is he? 
I guess he breaks your shield. I don't know what that is—a teleport stab. I don't know what I'm supposed to do Rob that. Long at last, you knave. I don't know what to do to that. That's not fair. He teleports away. He teleports in. He instant stabs. What do I do? Do I parry it? Do I dodge it? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do to it. What kind of a stupid attack is that? That's really dumb. So now I don't have my... my... Oh, yes, I do. Uh, this is what I want. Square up, devil! The grove will long last you, knave. I'm, I'm just out of range of hitting him, and then I I can't finish my combo, and it sucks. What also stinks is that he ignores my ability, that claw, like the uh, the worm ability. He just completely ignores it, like I'm not doing it. But I'll try this one. Square up, devil. I shall see you to the drain. I tried to parry. Nope. You had no respect for this grove. Oh, now I get hit? I dodge the three during the tornado. When the fourth one comes, it hits me. <laughs> Annoying. All right. Oh, whoa. I'm, like, sliding. Square up, devil! Ah! The grove will long at last, you knave. You come out of the arena so I can fight you, please. I can't. I'm trying to parry and it won't work. Look at that. You deserve your fate, monster! I shall see you to the drain! I'll break you apart! Me 
eclipse. I needed to parry. I tried. If I parried there, I probably beat him. Because if I downed him, I probably would have won. Yeah, the most annoying attack is the stupid teleport attack. It's just dumb because all you can do is try to dodge out of the way. But sometimes it hits anyway, and it seems to take monstrous amounts out of your shell. <clears throat> Square up, devil! I tried to block. What the hell? What just happened? Oh, what just happened? What is going on? I didn't do decoy. I lost my shell. And I don't even you know what happened. Fate, I didn't do that. And now I don't have my weapon. I have no idea what's going on. I didn't do that. So now I have the wrong shell. And this is going to fuck me up because I'm going to revive with the incorrect shell now. The game swapped shells I didn't tell it to. Yeah. The game swapped shells I didn't tell it to. It just did it. It did the decoy. I didn't even have that on. This is fucking stupid. Now I'm going to be screwed, aren't I? I'm not going to have my ability. No, I got it back. Okay, thank God. I don't know what happened there. I never swapped from the, the, the bottle cap. To having the crab on and doing decoy. I never did it. I don't even know what happened. Square up, devil! I tried to block. Nothing. Grow for long at last, you knave. <laughs> I shall see you to the drain! C'est toi, petit crab I dodged twice, he still fucking hits me? Fuck your mother. I'll break you up. I run away. Oh, you can't even hit him there anyway. How come you can't counter hit him? Look, he's right there, can't hit him. Wait. You deserve your fake monster. for this grove. Got him. Good shit. Very nice. Seems like I'm still out of practice. All skills fade with time, I suppose. I truly thought they would perish in a cool way, though. Fighting at least, they're not well, guys. <laughs> well... You've earned that petite crab. Come and put my tortured soul to rest. <sighs> I'm not trying to kill you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Good save point. <laughs> oh. We'll talk to him in a second. We'll first, look at the save point, right? I mean, is he a mantis shrimp? Is that what he's supposed to be? A mantis shrimp? He's pretty cool. There's also a big reward over there, but let's let's hit the save point first, right? Uh, I don't think I have enough because I was thinking of getting yet another stowaway, but I don't remember how much it cost. Oh, this is Topoto's Garden. This is a new location for later. Oh, cool. So we're going to be coming back here. All right. 
Um, I want to see if I sell stuff or whatever, or I spend stuff, can I actually get another stowaway? It's not a peacock mantis or a shrimp. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Oh, uh, let's see. I want to go to... The, uh, pawn shop. Sell. <clears throat> there we go. At 30,000. Is that enough to get another stowaway? Let's find out. So, that's great. The stowaways have been very useful. Dirty, let's do it. So, right now we got defense, a big attack boost, right? We could do up to eight. Dude, I could do, oh my god. I can do two of those uh, buffs. Dude, it's insane attack now. My attack is wildly high. <laughs> 52 attack. I have low defense though. This is insane. I'm gonna go with this and see what happens. If it, if this ends up being like really bad, then I'll, what I'll do is I'll replace this with the defense buff. But I want to see. I'm gonna do insane attack now. Holy crap! All right, let's go back. I'm probably gonna one hit kill everything. What am I getting an aquarium? I have no plans to get an aquarium anytime soon. It's a nice thought though. By the way, my shell collection has grown dramatically. We're at 28 different shells now. See that? This is the one I have the insurance on. I like the skull. The human skull. Insane. Alright, we go back, and now we're going to talk to Topoda and see what we earned there. I'm pretty sure we earned something good for defeating Topoda. Oh, look who's also here. Let's see what we got. A car claw. It's worth 20,000 microplastics. Your mind is not polluted like others then? No, dude, I just wandered in here. Oh, not that I... Not just that, I see enveloping a weak, unmistakable umami current. You're full of surprises, petite crabbe. As an apology, how about I teach you something neat? Since the gunk destroyed my fellow villagers' minds, I've been desperate for a disciple to pass on my fighting style. How'd you like to learn the skills of a master? Sounds like you could come in handy. How do I start? We'll begin when you're ready. Okay. You've learned much about harnessing umame, my child, but I can see you've yet to unlock its full potential. To reach the limits of your strength, you must comprehend the spiral. I'm great at spiraling. I do it all the time. Uh-huh. Tell you what. Close your eyes for a moment. Everything in this ocean follows its own cycle. Even those that cannot see, even those that cannot think, the tide goes in and out again. This is a cycle. A kilt plant sprouts, grows, and withers. This is a cycle. A crab is born, lives, and dies. This is also a cycle. The entire world was born at the inside, outside of a great spiral, and one day it will reach its center and return to nothing. This too is one single massive cycle. If you understand and feel the motion all around you, focus deep on your own path, your own spiral, then your abilities will be limitless. I think I'm starting to get it. So, upgrade your adaptations. Oh, okay. Deals damage over time to a trapped enemy. Size and damage increase. So this will upgrade your special attacks. Uh, I'm not convinced that I want to do this. At the same time, the upgrades that I was using aren't that great either. But I do want to do the back step and then counter slash. So I'm not going to get these yet. I might eventually get them, but not yet. Return to the place whenever you wish to hone your skills. One final thing. How would you like to learn my secret technique? Secret technique? Indeed. Umami abilities are ripples of the past. The best techniques are learned by witnessing their power directly. See where I'm going. If you're willing, I'll teach you how to punch like a master. Okay, sure. He's going to teach me a new ability. So something like this. Mantis punch. Unleash the overwhelming might of a mantis shrimp. So that's what he is. He's a mantis shrimp. We know now, guys. Uh... To demolish your enemies and uncertain umami infused objects. Oh, this is how we break these items.
Mantis punch. Sweet. Old world world. Find one more to increase your umami charges. So that is great. It's a super powered punch that breaks the blocks. Well, we definitely want that, right? We absolutely want that. And, uh... I'm probably gonna upgrade that one next once we have enough. Let's see what he has to say. Unbelievable! I meet the Umami Master in the flesh, and he refuses to teach me. He says he won't grant his abilities to anyone with an obvious and irrepressible lust for violence. I shall seek power elsewhere. Huh. Okay. Well, that's cool. Mine's just punches worth the upgrade, do you think so? Alright, I gotta get more. So, it protects Krill from being interrupted while charging. That's level 2. When we get it to level 3, move with imperceptible speed before reappearing in front of the target. Wow. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna keep upgrading Mantis Punch then. Sounds good. Nice. Alright, so we're good. We did it. That was an optional dungeon. Tons of rewards there, right? We can go sell that thing for 20000 whenever we want, which is awesome. Um, Alright, well, what's next? I guess now we actually have to go to the Veil, right? Or, you know what we could do? We can go break all the blocks. Jordan just did a super chat. He says, I love aquatic life so much, do you? Pretty cool. I, uh, like I said, I think one day I would like to have some kind of an aquarium or something. I think that'd be pretty neat. I don't really, my wife and I like watching the little fish and stuff that swim around at pet stores. <laughs> Um, so does anyone remember where the blocks are? I, I'm trying to remember now, in my mind, where some of these blocks were. The first blocks we ever encountered were on the way to the city. Remember that? The first blocks were... I believe it was Reef's Edge. I think it was here if you platform across where you see the first blocks. I think. There's a ton of these things, so we can go around breaking a ton of these. <clears throat> yeah, it's over there. Once we pass these guys, that's where the first blocks are. Here's the shortcut. Oh, shit. Almost fell. Oh, I did fall. Well, that sucks. They're over there. There they are. I see it. I see it over there. Okay. This one we did. Right, we did this one. We gotta get over there. Alright. <laughs> Skill scholars, I'm gonna send you a saltwater aquarium. Uh, please do not do that. Jeez! Alright, here we go. matter which one I use. This one has better uh D. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can make it. <laughs> That's 
completely unfair, and now I can't get back up. Look, the camera's locked on him. What is going on, dude? I'm just bouncing all over uncontrollably. I can't even control what's going on. I'm going with, with clipping through cameras. I'm bouncing without control of my body. Like, come on, man. Okay, he's dead. Sheesh. Another C star. Oh, C star plus six vitality boost instead of the three of the regular C star. What the hell just. Where am I going? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> uh... So now I'm over here. Oh. So that's all it was. It was to get that. That C star plus. Okay. Now there's another one over there, so if we keep going, we'll get to the second one, and we can see what that one is. How am I supposed to get back from here now? Right? I don't know how to get back from here now. I have no idea how to return. What do I do? I can't seem to get the momentum I need to get back. How do I... Maybe I have to climb up. I think if I climb up, maybe. Okay, that's what it is. By the way, I need a... My, my hammer. Good. I can't believe I totally forgot about the hammer. I unlocked it and never used it. Well, now I'm using it, and things are crazy good. Alright, so there's another block over there. The first one led to C star plus. Let's see where this one leads. How do we get to it? Where is it? It's over there. We have to, we have to ride these things. Yep. That's why there's a recharge right there. I see. That's neat, but what does this do for me? I have no idea. What's the point of that? It doesn't take me anywhere I haven't been. I don't get it. Unless it lets me go over there. Maybe this lets me platform higher up. Oh, I see. Okay, so now I can platform across. I get it. Cool. Your dicks, they show up out of nowhere. What did that miss exactly? going. Yep, we keep going this way. Uh, <clears throat> where did I even get the power to break cubes? I'm way further ahead. You never got it. It's a secret. You have to go, once you beat the boss in the grove and there's doors that are closed, you go down, there's an area, a secret area, and you go through there and you end up in a village 
full of a, a sniper and a bunch of stuff, you pass the village, you beat all that, and then there's a secret boss fight against a mantis shrimp I just did, and he gives you this ability. Yeah. It's a complete secret. You can miss it and never be able to break the cubes in the game. There we go. Yeah, so basically once you beat that, the boss of the grove, which is like the guy who looks like the lobster with the two chopsticks, there's the doors that are locked, the waypoint there, or the save point there. From that arena, there's a way to go down. You'll see if you look to the doors, like to the right of the doors, you go down there and you explore over there and that's how you get to the village. So this is a whole new area here that we're in. Yeah, I love. I'm, I'm really liking this game. Yeah, he's the weapon art upgrade guy, and he gives you the ability to break the block. So he does many different things. A Wilk plus thirty percent shell spell spe shell spell damage. Can't speak. Okay, I think that's it now. I think this is how you just continue on normally. DC, what's going on? Five months as a member. He says, cheers to five months of Haiku's love and support. Thank you, DC. Jordan says, I love the theme, but man, I wish less people would talk about seafood in the chat. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with seafood? You think it's appropriate for the game? <laughs> You're gotta be kidding me! I attacked and tracked off the platform and killed myself. Now I'm invisible. Yeah, and again, the wonkiness of the game is quite frustrating. That's just stupid. In truth, I don't even think I care about the 7,000. I don't think I'm gonna go back for it. I really don't think I'm gonna go back for it. Um... But I'm trying to remember where are the other cubes. There's some cubes in town, right? We should go there to the town. I don't think there were any in the shallows. I feel like that area was the first part. The resedge was the first part of the game that had them, I think. So here's this uh, castle. We never figured out how to get inside, right? I don't know if you even can. I mean, I see stuff in there. But we never figured this out, and they never really talked about it yet. So I'm thinking this may be for later. Because I don't see a way into it right now. And there's nothing to do with a, one of the blocks or anything that I can see. So I'm not sure how I would get in here regardless, see? It looks like it's something you do from the other side. The adjustment made the game better? Yeah, it did. It's run running with the left thumbstick is better. Dodging on command is much better. Yeah, for sure. Like in that last boss fight against the Mantis Ship, you notice I could actually dodge a special attack because there was no delay. So it's much better. And there's the frame rate drop. Let's just take a look and see if there's any of these blocks. I think there's some of the blocks in the city, if I remember correctly. I know there's a block blocks in the open sea. I know there was a couple of them that we ran into in that environment. No, nothing here. <clears throat> None of those blocks out here. Poor guy's dead. Oh, he's not dead. He's asleep. The guard is asleep. All right. So I guess we'll check out the town again. And uh, see where we can find the blocks to break. I'm almost positive there was a couple blocks in town to break. But I don't remember where specifically they were. I know for a fact in the open ocean there was at least two that I'm, I'm remembering in my head. <clears throat> if not more, because if you remember there were the robot things too that we couldn't do anything with. But I know that there's blocks near some of them too. Anyone remember where the blocks were in the town? Because I swear there were blocks to break in town, but, you know, 
I don't really specifically remember off the top of my head. The Town is a solid Ben Affleck movie? Well, I'm sure it is, but that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's not really the topic I was I had in mind in Affleck movies. <clears throat> you don't think there are any here? Okay, it's in the open ocean. All right. We'll go to the open ocean then. There's the one map piece left, and that's after we do the veil. But I think there's other secret areas to go to as well. Okay. So let's go to the open ocean and do all that then. Yep. So where do we want to start? <clears throat> On the Flotsam runoff, I know for a fact there's a couple there, like right, right near it. Expired Knolls to the north. Central Vista. Yeah, I mean, we'll do, we'll do plot some runoff and we'll run out and look because I think there was one or two there. I received a generous $25 tip from Ponage101 who says it is time to vest up. I wish the crab would have a vest as armor. That would be neat. There are a lot of outfits you can get, but I don't have a vest yet in the game. So thank you for that. I'm trying to think, like, what... You know what I should do? I should just wear the vest that matches my hat. Right? So thank you so much. We hit all the goals on the stream today, which is amazing. As you guys know, I'm not doing a late stream tonight. So this helped a lot. To hit all the tips goals on this first stream. Thank you guys so very much. And for anyone who supported today with Super Chats as well, thank you. We didn't have any memberships today, but we had some Super Chats earlier, and I appreciate that. All right. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> You're the vest that patches the hat. Yo, now I'm really decked out. <laughs> the vest that matches the hat perfectly. Thank you for... Uh, DC is going to do a haiku for us. He says, Into the Abyss, a city underwater, the cooling feeling. Thank you very much, DC, for that. All right, so... I know that there... Oh, crap. I know that there is a... Uh, a cube, like, right outside of here. I believe it's to the right. Oh, you can see one right there straight ahead, too. Wow, they're just going to be everywhere. Yeah. They're going to be everywhere. I think there's one over there to the right, and now we got one right here. We should just do, do them all that we encounter. <laughs> Another C star plus one. So it's our second C star plus one. So now if we charge up to three again, we can punch again. Holy crud, that was amazing. Now I broke it though. I broke the hammer. But that was sick. He just went crazy, killed everything. Who the hell's that? There's just an what is that? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is very bad. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Ooh. So there was a dude out here chasing those other two enemies, and I don't think he was an enemy himself because they wouldn't let me target him. But now he's gone. So there must be, like, random stuff that happens out here in the open ocean that you can encounter and do stuff with. All right, let's keep going because I know for a fact there was a cube on the right-hand side of the map. Oink, how you doing? Eight months as a member. He says, have a good day. Love it, Oink. Thank you so much, Oink. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. This is actually, I think, this might be my favorite stream of the game. We explored that cool town. We got the ability now to unlock... Uh... Not what I want. 
unlocked it with the ability to unlock these blocks that we've been seeing the whole game. I'm pretty sure there's one coming up. There it is. I can see it in the distance. See it? I remembered to use the hammer, and the hammer is sick. So I'm liking this. Robbie, thank you. Eight months of memories of the eight month squad. There's one up there and one here, so let's see what this one does. Let's see where this goes. A save point? Where does this go? Old new area? Well, I see the crane. Oh. I guess I should touch the save point first. Oh, does this person know something about these robots? Don't normally see crabs venturing to the highlands like this, Hatchling. Keep your eyes stalk on a swivel. This ain't no place for a crab that's still got their sanity, unless you're as badass as me. Who the hell are you? Not saying who they are. Well, we got a new save point. Is this was the highlands? This is called the Secluded Ridge. Okay. I want to shell a port again. Back to Tapota. I want to upgrade the ability again. The punch. Because they could upgrade it twice. I think they said they will now teleport. Yeah, look. So now move with imperceptible speed before reappearing in front of the target. It's maxed. I maxed it out. You can only get to level 3. That punch is... Crazy upgraded now. All right. Sounds good to me. So, oh really? AIC Headbanger says there's a cube in the southeast. It will lead to a Dark Souls reference. There's one in the northwest that leads to a SpongeBob reference. And there's tons of loot along the way. Sweet. I can't wait to do them. That's what we'll be doing for the rest of the stream today, I think. This is fun. All right. So, Sands Between Secluded Ridge. Where we just unlock. Let's see where we are. I was just going to say, where are we on the map? Here we are. I think this is the southeast. Maybe this is the Dark Souls reference coming up. There's different ways to go. We can go this way, or we can go this way. See, there's a crane, but we can't activate the crane yet. I think these robots activate the crane, and we don't have that ability yet. So we'll have to come back later for the robot stuff. hammered, son. Three, four. There's a lot of enemies. I gotta be careful. There's an upgrade, too. Bring the hammer down! Oops! What's the upgrade? It is a Dark Souls reference. It's a bonfire. Sunlight. Oh my god. Praise the sun. Increase your dodge roll iframes by 30%. Ha ha ha. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Praise the sun. Yes. Yes. That is amazing. That is a great reference, and I very much enjoy that one. I'm happy that's in the game. Sweet. I'm going to be wearing that now. Raise the sun. All right. Now we go to the other way. Cool. Well, this game is increasing in my levels of enjoyment. Now that I can dodge roll whenever I want because it actually works when you press the button, the game's just like twice as good. And today we had so much fun stuff going on. I'm having a great time. Perhaps I take it back, and we will have a game that I'm considering for Game of the Year soon. Oh, shit. Damn, he killed him with one smash. I see there's stuff over there, and I can't get to it right now. All these hooks I don't use. There's more over there. I need to 
need to upgrade my hammer though, or uh, swap out my hammer. Oh boy. Oh my god, did I just like quad kill? I think I did. Holy shit. Is it seriously just all barb hooks? Oh, what a waste. But, you know what? New hammer. Yep, sweet. Literally all barb hooks. What a waste. Praise the sun unless it's heating up the office, says Rolor. That is correct. I don't want the sun heating up my goddamn office. Oh, we got a big boy. We got a lot of stuff over here. Yeah, look. Wow, there's so much to explore in this area. All right, let's do it. Can I teleport punch on this guy? Yes, but it whiffed. God damn it. You teleport punch, but you gotta be closer. I like the idea of the teleport punch, though. Oh, I lost my uh, hammer. Right. Lots of crystals. Lost the dang hammer. I want a hammer. Good. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you're too close. Darn. Whew. Then Tronix says, this would be my top three playthroughs you've done so far this year. It's getting better. Like, the further in I get, I like it more and more. It's getting more creative and interesting. Good references, great abilities. Insta-kill teleport punch. So sick. Sick. Worm, you dick. Kill them. Now that I have the back step, it's working way better. The back step is so good. I love it. I can't use glass as my hammer piece, though. It doesn't work. Well, we have all these different ways to go. Let's go this way first. All these different ways to explore. Sniper. Fuck. dollar shortcut there but we didn't go high enough up to get to the shortcut right but down here we have an item an upgrade item of some sort and then there's a stupid worm Died instantly. Heart kill sprout permanently increases the amount of heart kill pods you can hold. Wow, I have five, uh, six healing items now. Amazing. What a find. I missed. Oh no! I have no idea why it missed. It shouldn't have. You're kidding. I need one more hit. Finally, what a pain. 
It's definitely a tricky one. I have no healing. Yeah, see, there's other stuff over there that we can't get to yet. I think that's from the crane that we can't access. I think eventually you go over there, you do all that, and you can bounce back over here. All right. I agree. Dabhan says, why is it people such a great game? It's like a diamond in the rough, right? It is a diamond. Like, it's rare that you get a game that's, like, that good. That's not from FromSoft. And now we have this one. I'm not saying this game is perfect. But this one is pretty darn good of an attempt to do something different. Pretty creative. Okay, so now we continue to go this way. Yes. Another goddamn sniper. I hate this sniper shit. platform. Two of them. Of course there are. Dodged! Damn it, man. I can't hit him. I guess I could t try to teleport punch. You think the teleport would work? Try it. What happened? I got stuck. It worked! It took him off the ledge. Beautiful. Damn big boy. I have no healing. It sucks. No healing in a big boy. Wait, there's a save point. Ask this guy, there's a save point. Look, I gotta get to it. Oh, yes! I need one more for a, a sword upgrade. Sweet. Here's the shortcut up here from outside. Let's hit up the save point. So cool. So much to do in this game. All right. Thirty-six. Uh, I'll level up. I haven't leveled up in a while. Let's level up. Uh, even more damage. Holy crap. Even more damage. It's only plus one? It's only plus one. It's probably not even worth it then, actually. Maybe we'll go with resistance. Yeah, let's do resistance. I feel like I'm doing enough damage. I need to have more resistance. And now I have six healing items. Cool. I agree. Dentronic says this game's a good combination of Easter eggs, collectibles, and interesting upgrades. Yeah, and it's getting better. Like, the more we play, the more we're unlocking. All right, so we still have a couple few areas there to explore. The one thing I don't know is there was another cube that we had passed that was on a ledge, and I don't know how to get to that ledge and hit that cube. Oh, look, we can drop here. We can drop and get behind these guys. Oh, crap, let's do that. I tried to backstep, it didn't work. Crystals. That worked. Coming up behind them made it easier. Enemies. Got him! Capsized him with the teleport attack. Made it easy. I lost my hammer. 
Another shortcut. This is the shortcut we had seen before from the other direction. This. Umami charges have been increased. We have five charges now. Wow, we just keep getting more and more and more upgrades today. Damn, good stuff. But down there is the... Oh, we've already done this. We already went down there and did this, remember? This is the area where you fight the big dudes, but it, there is a cube in there. Oh, shit. There's a cube in there. So we do need to kind of go down there and get that cube. The only other thing is there's another cube up on a ledge over here that we haven't found. Hmm. Ah, I think I might just go down and get the cube here. These two big guys at once. Shit, I don't have a hammer. That really stinks that we don't have the hammer. It's so good, but all right, we'll do it anyway. You ballsy. Shit. Not go as I planned. One. Oh, I need the ability. I should have it. Instant capsize. Can't see. Oh, that's bullshit. Got him. I got a blood star limb for fighting him. Holy shit, that's great. But now I don't have a charge. Shit. Now I gotta go fight little enemies to get a charge so I can come back and break this block. We gotta find little enemies. A blood star limb is a great find. It's an upgrade item. I'm surprised because I've come here and I cleared this before, but somehow I didn't get it. Can you? You can grind blood limbs and sand dollars from these enemies? Oh my god. Blood limbs? That's crazy. Can you get permanent upgrades em endlessly here? They screwed up then. That, that should not be. You shouldn't get the, the upgrade permanently from that guy. Is there another cube? There's another cube out there, I see. Man, I need, uh... I need enemies. If I can go back here, I need enemies to fight. Why are there no enemies? I can't find any enemies to grind. Shit. Well, I'll give me, like, nothing. <laughs> Couldn't attack. What happened? I pressed the button. Nothing happened. That was weird. Ah! Totally wouldn't attack. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I know. If someone just said if you get infinite health upgrade, would your whole bar fill up like the whole screen in Dark Souls? Maybe. I mean, that's silly that you can grind against that dude. It doesn't seem to make sense to me that you can grind against that guy and get infinite health upgrades. Guess they screwed that up. That doesn't seem right to me. Okay, now I have it. Now we can go all the way back that way, right? Yep, and break that cube, see what's in it. There's another cube up there that we never figured out how to get to. It was on a higher ledge. I don't know how to get to that. But maybe we could figure it out. Oh, I don't want to go there. That's a hole. We could see it. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I think the sound that crabs make, or a lot of the creatures making this game is kind of cute. <laughs> it's a really good sound design, in my opinion. Okay. That's what we're going to get. But this is pretty hard to see cube. Ah! 
Thinker Plus. Oh. Oh, it needs... Damn, it's really, really, really good. But I would need to have another stowaway to use it. So we'll save it, and I will use it eventually. But we need to get another stowaway. I mean, that's insane amount of value. If you equip both of those, that's 55% stagger. Which is a crazy amount. Shit, I missed stuff up there. There's an item up there, too, I didn't get. Oh, crap. I fell down, but I didn't get the other item. Red Bandit, how you doing? 12 months as a member. He says, really enjoying the stream and your Riz. Thank you, Red Bandit. Appreciate that. The Riz. I like the Riz, huh? I'll give you some Riz. So if we go up here, this is the shortcut. Very nice. Right to the fast travel point. And what we need to do... If I go further south, I think that's where the other cube is. I don't think I've been over there to that ledge yet. I think that's where the cube is. That's where we're going to go next. You like that Riz? I'll give you a taste of my Riz. <laughs> You'll like it. Okay, let's kill this guy first because we never did. Instant capsizing? No. Now it's a capsizing. Done. Wow, awesome. I need to get my hammer back. I was right, there's the other cube. I was absolutely right. That's the other cube we're gonna break right there. We never fought any of these enemies yet. Muscle Plus! Worm right here. I'm gonna go behind them, break the cube from behind, see what's in it. Oh, you're not gonna skewer me, bitch. Absolutely not. Ah, this first. The hammer. Break the cube. Oh, it's gonna allow me to go up? Oh, I wonder what's up there. I don't know. We'll find out, but let's kill these guys first. Got bullied. I'm over here. Guy there I didn't kill yet. Found it. All right. Well, let's see what's up here now. Attacking the crab's weak point for massive damage. That is how I roll. Exactly. Oh, nice. What did we get? A bobber? Decreases your shell weight, but minus 10 defense? Why would I ever want that? It's still waiting for us, our hermit home. Closer than one might think. Beneath our very feet. Didn't we find that guy earlier? I think we did. I'm pretty sure we found that guy earlier. By the way, there's another item. 
We're still going? Oh my god, what's this? Another shark egg for respec. Okay. So we found a good amount of items here. But, uh, it didn't really turn into anything too great, honestly. Yeah. Good amount of crystals here, though, right? Yeah. Surprised I didn't get the grapple enemies ability. It's only 20 crystals and increases the diversity of combat. Yeah, I haven't bothered with it. I haven't really bothered with it. It feels like... You're right, it's kind of like they implemented a lot of different things in this game that feel like different Souls abilities, and that kind of feels like something like from Sekiro or something, but I didn't really bother with it. I'm liking my build as it is, the tankish build. Actually, I'm not really a tank, I'm just like a superpower dude. I don't have a lot of defense, but I'm doing like giant heavy hits. That's kind of the build I have. Alright, I think we cleared the whole area now. Yeah, we did. We cleared this whole area. The only thing we can do is when we have the ability to interact with the robots, we can do that. What we should do is go back to this save point down here and uh go back to the save point, right? Fight this guy again just for, for grinding? Sure, why not? Oh no, I couldn't I couldn't do anything because I was in midair. There was no way to dodge it. I didn't want that. Oh. That sucks. I wasted my ability. There we go. Anyway, what was I gonna say? I got distracted. I don't know what I was going to say now. Oh, look at this. Don't really want that, but okay. Probably sell it. Oh, we have other areas to explore, right? This was... Th just think about this. We've been doing this for like an hour, the optional stuff. This was only the right-hand side. Oh, what the hell? so oh no oh what a waste i put the wrong button god damn it what a waste of charge the siphono 4 is an animal called a portuguese man of war oh really Once we get these, we can do even more exploration, but we can't interact with those yet. We gotta find more cubes. What kind of hair gel do I use? I don't use hair gel at all. Don't. Let's go back to town and see if we can sell enough to buy another stowaway. And then we're gonna do... We have to do more upgrades to the crystals, too. And then I want to explore more under the sea. Like, there's so much going on here, dude. There's so much going on. We need one more upgrade item for my, my sword again. The Portuguese men are similar to, similar to the jellyfish family. Cool. Let's see if I can sell enough <coughs> to buy the upgrade. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have 36,000 and I bet the upgrade's 40,000. But maybe, you know what? Maybe I can sell uh, some of the stowaways I don't want to get enough for another upgrade. Because I want the maximum stun. <clears throat> Let's dismiss some crappy stowaways.
Can't sell Frederick. <laughs> we'll get rid of the regular muscle. We have muscle plus. There you go. We have 40,000. I think that's how much it costs. Let's find out. Yes, do it. Beautiful. Because now we could do this. Stinker plus. 35% balance damage increase. Damn. Damn. And if I decide to get rid of this one, I could do the other. And then I have 55% increase to stagger. Okay. So now what I think I want to do is... I want to go back to the Moon Snail, and I want to get that ability where you backdash and then counter strike. Because we can backdash now, but we can't counter strike. And that's what I want to do. Let's get that one. <clears throat> then we'll continue our undersea exploration. Look, this almost looks like one of the glowing blocks, but I don't think there's a glowing block in here. It looks similar to it, though. I don't think it is. <clears throat> then again, maybe it is because. Why else would they give you this recharge? But it doesn't react when you get close. So I guess not, right? If it, if it was a glowing block, it would react like that when you get close to break it. And these don't. So I guess not. Alright. We're going to do this one. After a back dash, you can then press right bumper and do a counter hit. There you go. Oh, swarming each shell's spell may be cast once for free. Beating an enemy with an umami based attack restores an umami charge. Okay. Now I'll start working on this tree next. There it is. Backdash and boosh. Look at that. Wow, that's excellent. A perfect dodge then becomes a giant flourishing attack on the enemy. Wow, that's really neat. I like that. Probably have to be locked onto an enemy and actually have it trigger, though. Okay. Good stuff. Man, we had a great stream today. Great exploration. Great progress in this game. Only about 15 minutes left. Let's, uh... I'm trying to remember... Central Vista, and we head west from the Central Vista. I think there's cubes on the west hands, a uh, west wall, I believe, that we can do. So we have to head due west. Yeah, let's head this way. I'm pretty sure there's cubes. I just see one right now. Are you kidding? I just found one randomly in the friggin' ocean bottom. Look at that. A rusty nail. Plus 10 attack. Minus 8 magic. Rusty nail plus. Okay, let's head further west. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there was some... Like, against the western walls, there were some, I think. I'm pretty sure, and I wasn't able to do anything with them at the time. Paper claw, 5,000 microplastics for this. Hmm. Aha, this is where the guy had the valve on his back. And he still does, so this is how you can get the valve again if you want. Let's head south first, then we'll head north. We'll just hug this whole left wall up and down. I have no enemies, says the composer of the... Oh, look! The composer of the game made the music sound like undersea water life. Yeah, it's cool. I love it. Just a regular well. Oh, uh, that's kind of lame. Because at this point, if you've gotten the ability to break stuff... You already got the best stuff. So then why the hell would you want that crappy one, right? Like, that's kind of lame. 
Was there one over here? I don't remember if there was one over here or not. I can't even talk to this guy anymore. So if I want, I could get the disco ball again, but I think I'll pass. Oh yeah, there's a cube down here. A nice recharge station for it. Nice. Thank you very much for the recharge. Here it is. A sea slug. Increases the effectiveness of dodge rolls. Oh. Really? Now when they say that, I wonder by how much, right? Like I wonder what that actually means. Alright, so we can't do any further exploration here until this crane's activated. I wonder what that actually means, like to what effect, what percent or whatever is it increased? Because I'd be, you know, maybe I would use that, but it depends on how much of an increase. And of course, no one knows. You probably have to look up the stats. It doesn't tell you in the game. In Elden Ring, everyone knows the stats, and it's usually like, oh, it'll be like 8% faster. Something dumb. Dabman says probably one iframe extra. Yeah, exactly. Probably something like, like minute. So we come up here. This is a really annoying area, remember? When we went all the way up there, what was up there? Was there a cube? I don't remember what was up there. I kind of don't want to go up there again unless there's something, a reason to, because it's a really tough area. But then again, I don't I don't remember what was on the top. I feel like we couldn't do what was on the top. Like, it was limited. We couldn't finish it. Maybe it was a cube. Maybe there was a cube up there. Shut the fuck up. Now I can beat the shit out of all these stupid worms. If anyone remembers, if there's anything in this spiky area, you can let me know. I would appreciate that. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to skip it because it is really annoying. I know in the northwest, I believe there was something as well. I might go all the way northwest. Dead Eye Dad says, I can't remember either. Yeah, I remember we did it. And it was very annoying to get up there because of all the, the worms and... Annoying enemies hidden in the spikes. <clears throat> but I, I remember that, like, I don't think we finished it. Because maybe it was a block. We're looking for the, the blocks to break. Uh, I have no enemies. We're specifically looking for the blocks to smash with our fists. That wasn't here before. This guy's new. I tried to dodge. Another one of these. Nice. Staple Claw is 10,000. Very cool. What do you mean no vest? I'm wearing a vest. I'm wearing my camo vest. It's just so camo that you can't tell. Yeah. Awesome. All right. We did something rare there that we didn't do earlier because it wasn't there. Remember the optional? When we fought the, the boss guy here, that stuff wasn't even there. I guess we'll head northwest now. And maybe I'll walk... Oh, hello. Maybe I'll try to walk, like, around the middle and see if there's another cube maybe hanging out in the, in the map. But we're going to head northwest now. <clears throat> yeah, you couldn't see it. The camo vest was so camo, you couldn't even see it. Look at that. It did. It, it definitely served its purpose then. <laughs> camo, wait, fisherman's hat, camo vest. Very nice. Yeah, this basically this is when you get the, this ability unlocked, you can attach a shell to your uh, knife or fork and turn it into a hammer, and then it's super duper good. And I'd forgotten all about it. I'd totally forgotten I even had it. And then I accidentally did it today. I was like, oh, what's this? And I was like, oh my god, it's so good. I'm just gonna keep using this now. Lavra. How did that whiff? I lost it. Well, I got launched. I got launched, but it's all good. Got it. Okay. 
I whiffed. Perfect dodge into a counter attack. That was awesome. Perfect dodge to the new counter attack ability. So good. Where are we? Okay, we're going the right way. I'm going northwest. So, yes, just keep heading north now. I think, I'm pretty sure there was cubes to the northwest as well while we were exploring, and of course I couldn't do anything with them. I can. Ah! I smacked. Ah! So much better to the attack range now, because remember my one of my major complaints earlier is my attack range sucked? Now my attack range is like super duper good. Another sand dollar. Oh, uh, nope, no cubes here. Keep looking. Am I feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Yeah, and you know what? There is a Mr. Krabs outfit in the game you can get. We just didn't unlock it yet. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I, didn't, I just realized I have six I can hold. I didn't need to do that. Oh, well. All right, we didn't do this yet. Here's an item. A barbed hook. Not really worth anything. Hmm. Oh, a little shed. Extra health. Let's keep hugging the uh, west wall. <laughs> Head north. Yep, yeah, okay. So there's the guy we can't interact with yet. Once we can interact with those, these cranes move. And will take us to new areas. Can't do that yet. I'm trying to remember. I swear there was a cube around here too. Near this guy. But maybe I'm misremembering. I guess we're going to find out. Were there cubes? Inside the grove. I don't remember. There might have been. I think actually, yes, and now I'm distinctly remember there are at one of the fast travel points there's a cube. Because you you open the basket, the shopping basket, and you can drop down into the shopping basket when the cube's gone. So we can go do that too. We're just going around getting a ton of upgrades. When I say this is Kitty Dark Souls, no, not really. Like, it's challenging enough to say it's just as... It's tough like Dark Souls. Um, It's just not gothic horror. But I wouldn't say... I wouldn't call it, like, Kitty Easy or anything like that. No, it's actually quite challenging. I'm sad that we're running out of time. We only have, like, five, ten minutes left. And I'm like, well, I guess I can't do all of it today. Next time, we'll have to look for more cubes. Let's just make sure there's nothing up here. Oh. I think I see one. I think straight ahead is one glowing. Yes, that's one. But, oh, wait. Is that one too? Oh, I think I found another one. I think we just found two different cubes. Yes, we did. Okay, cool. Let's do this. I'm going to break this one first. Because then I want to see... Uh, I want to recharge after. Well, there's a lot of enemies here. There's a lot of enemies here. Holy moly. Great item already. Let's see what it is. A cockle. Twenty percent bonus hammer damage specifically. <laughs> Those are big guys down there. 
don't know what those are. They have like bottles. What the hell are they? Are they a new enemy type? Odd they'd be introducing a new enemy type here. That's really weird. There's another one right there. There's a cube right there. I got a second sinker. Yeah, I don't know what these guys are. Are they bosses? It looks like a boss arena. Maybe it's a double boss fight. I think it might be, because they look unique. Huh. Hammer damage, we give a fork. No, I have the hammer like, right now. When you have the attachment, that's the hammer. Wow. Really? A small battery. This tiny cylinder contains enough power to instantly kill many microorganisms. You get a small chance to electrocute enemies on hit. No, a chance to insta-kill enemies. Look at this. What in the holy hell is that supposed to be? I don't know, but we can't get to it yet until we have a way to interact with these robots. Unless... Hold on one second. I have an idea. No. I thought maybe you can electrocute him. But no. Okay. Nope, you can't electrocute him. I thought that's what, what they were getting at. Like you electrocute those that they power up. So I have no clue what that is over there, but that's something I've never seen before in the game. But once we get the ability to use these robots, we'll definitely be seeing new stuff. I can't jump up here. It's glitching. You're kidding. Did you see how much health he took away from me? You saw that, right? He took my whole health bar with two hits. What the hell was that? Why did he do that? <laughs> Why was he that powerful? I have no idea. Well, truth is we are out of time for today, which is unfortunate because I'm having a good time. So everyone remember, when we resume this next time, we have to go back northwest, and that's where we have to explore. We're going to go northwest and explore that area. Clear it out. There's a lot there. As you saw, there was a lot there. And, uh... And keep on there and keep going. Remember, for story, we're supposed to go to the Vale, which is far east, which we've already unlocked. But we're doing all this cool optional stuff. And if you remember, <laughs> we have not only this northwest area to explore, if we go into the Grove, there's definitely one or two areas there that has the blocks blocking them that we can break now. I remember specifically the shopping cart. And also... Someone had also told me that there is a secret boss in the grove near a waterfall or under a waterfall that we can look for before we actually continue on with the game. So there's a ton to do. This game is good, man. Like, like I said, it's definitely growing on me today. Now having the control scheme changed so that the dodge actually comes out on reaction. That's a huge difference, and I'm really enjoying that. So this is good stuff. I had a great time. I want to say thank you to the audience. You guys are a great audience, and thank you so much. You guys supported the stream in droves today. Knowing I was only doing one stream, I really appreciate that. There'll be more of this later this week. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. See you next time.